we have made America great again, and to keep America great, we're going to re-elect President Donald Trump for four wow. more years. Yeah. Yeah. Starting yeah. Yeah. With a message of promises made, promises kept, Vice President Mike Pence put President Donald Trump's name on the first in the nation primary ballot. I mean, you look at the American economy, it's booming, 6.7 million new jobs created. Unemployment's at a 50-year low. After the filing, the vice president sat down with local media, defending the president as he faces an impeachment investigation into his efforts to get the president of Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden's son. The American people have the transcript of the president's call. And they can see there was no quid pro quo, and the president did nothing wrong. The VP also made a quick stop at the Puritan back room, and then headed to the New Hampshire Institute of Politics for politics and eggs to talk 2020. I think what's most remarkable to me, finally, is that leading candidates in the Democratic Party for president of the United States openly advocate an economic system that has impoverished millions and robbed the liberties of generations in the last century. That system is called socialism. Many local Republicans believe the president's path to re-election is clear. I don't think it's going to be as tough as they may say it's going to be. Um, I think that President Trump has done a great job and the voters will know it. It's entirely possible the vice president could be back to file his own first in the nation candidacy in four years. But he didn't want to talk much about that today. You got to come back in four years? Mr. Vice President. Come back in four years? Mr. Vice President. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.